Hi, right, Rob Pearson. This is Follow the Leader. A morning musings this fine day. October 7th. And I wish to congratulate Nathaniel Slattery and Ani now Slattery. Bear. Need to protect their identity. May you guys have an awesome life full of crushing ahead of you. Godspeed. Whoa, whoa. Little traffic. Little traffic happening. <laughs> you guys are amazing and uh, be amazing together. Also, I am thinking this morning about just content stuff. Hard pivot. Um, just in general, watching things on YouTube, learning stuff. And it's just interesting to me how reading and, uh, well, I don't read anymore just because it takes a long time. I'm a very slow reader. It's infuriating. But I can, I can tear through some audiobooks and I can uh, listen to some podcasts and get a lot out of them. But the, uh, it's just interesting that it's a lot like eating food. Where if you, uh, if you listen to too many, you start to get bloated, like, intellectually. Where I, there'll be, I'll need to just go like a day where I don't do, I don't listen to anything. I just work in silence. I don't listen to music hardly at all, also. Um, I just, I'm a weird person. But, uh, it just, because otherwise, I only have other people's thoughts in my head. It's like I need time to process the information to make the ideas mine or to scrutinize them. And then there's a time where I'll start having my own thoughts again. And then I just get bored and I'll start listening to some other stuff. And it, I had Audible for a while and I, I binged me some audiobooks. Then some Russian troll hacked it and stole all the audiobooks or whatever. It was it was obnoxious, but it was probably for the best. Um, I've been working through. I finally got through Augustine City of God. I need to do something with that. But it's it's just fascinating though. Just like reading a book, you start adopting the phrasing and vocabulary of that author in your, uh, your daily life, listening to podcasts and stuff, I found myself starting to put ideas together the way the person I was listening to did, uh, which is all right to an extent, but it, uh, it makes it difficult to be your own man and, uh, trying to stride that balance where you don't you're not so wrapped up in your own world that you're not listening to the outside at all but at the same time you don't have any room for your own thoughts if your head's full of other people's thoughts so it's just an interesting line to walk and to uh, you know figure out what a good balanced diet is because it's not as clear as, uh, as food is. I don't know, that's, um, that's all I'm thinking about this morning. It's a pretty, uh, pretty short one today. Once again, congratulations to Nathaniel and Ani. Psalm 127 is an amazing psalm. It says, uh, so it's only like, like six verses. 
It says, children are an inheritance. No, children are a uh, blessing from the Lord. Inheritance uh, are a blessing, an inheritance from the Lord. There we go. Children are a blessing, an inheritance from the Lord. Like arrows in the hand of a strong man, blesses he whose quiver is full. Talks about building a family. That psalm starts with what may seem to some like a non sequitur. Because it says, unless the Lord builds the house, the laborers labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches the city, those who watch, watch in vain. It's important to remember that putting God first in any endeavor, especially that of building a family, is is critical and is the, the foundation and how you build your house on a rock instead of sand. The rock of Israel. Israel's the church, by the way. It's it's a good thing. He who has, finds a wife finds a good thing and a blessing from the Lord. Well done. That's all I got. You don't have to take my word for it. Godspeed.